UAE lies in 12th spot in ongoing Asian indoor games Abu Dhabi Jassim Al Ali have scored 2.5 points in individual classic men's chess after four rounds with three draw and one win at the Asian indoor and martial arts games, Ashgabat Turkmenistan. In the women's category, Wafia Al Mamari bounced back strongly after loses in the first two rounds to win the next two rounds. She defeated players from Thailand and Jordan respectively. She still has three more rounds to go. The UAE's billiards team have also beaten Thai Team 92 and qualified to the quarterfinals, where they will meet Iran. However, UAE's snooker team's challenge came to an end after they lost to Afghanistan 31 in the preliminary round. The UAE has fielded 68 athletes for the games with participation in seven different sports and has so far managed to win 16 medals, 5 gold, 4 silver and 7 bronze, and are currently placed 12th. The results achieved by our players in the indoor games augur well for the UAE sport. Some federations have to do much more. First, we have to thank our embassy for its huge role in providing every facility for the delegation. The UAE ambassador Hassan al adab and his staff were keen to attend and follow up all matters and provide every support needed, said Abraham Abdul Malik, Secretary General of the General Authority for Youth and Sports Welfare. Our results in the games are a source of pride, especially in the Jiu Jitsu, which has left a superb impression about the UAE sport in such a continental event. I congratulate the Jiu Jitsu team for its organized work, which has benefited all, added Abdul Malik who was also of the view that the Emiratus handling various administrative, technical or judging assignments also surpassed all expectations. I think the results of the Athletics Federation were good, but they need more practice and training. Athletics has excellent elements capable of making things easy, in bringing more achievements in different disciplines. The biggest challenge ahead is the Asian Games in Indonesia next year. All federations that couldn't manage to bring titles in Ashgabat have to reassess their positions right from now in preparation for the world's second largest sports event. It will be a key assessment platform for federations. All entities, such as the NOC and the General Authority of Youth and Sports Welfare are making every support as the real test will be Jakarta Asian Games. After that, we will be in a better position to judge.